in this movement. So, the first one is a review from last week. Okay? So, I'm stepping to the side, I'm connecting. At this point, I need to have the resistance. Okay? If I don't have the resistance, it's not going to work. So, I'm slightly pushing out and creating a little bit of a left right here. And my goal is to remain in front of one another. So, we have to stay in front of each other with calling our game. So, I'm doing this movement very, very small. Ladies, you don't want to help the man create the step. Okay? He is the one, who, he's only the one who is doing this move. From here, I can either do a large lapis or a small lapis, or I don't even have to create um, a lapis, I can go straight into the movement from the connection point. So here, I'm doing a small movement and I'm going to bring her into the cross. That's it. From here, I will take her. She's going to make a step. So, in case I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave. One, two. I can do the lapis, several lapis. Granted, she provides enough resistance for me in this movement. Okay. The other movement we did today in the beginning, oh, sorry, the second portion of the class was from a kusara, potentially. I'm doing a parada to the outside of her left foot, right here. As she sandwiches my foot, I'm leaning forward a little bit with my left, with my right leg, right here. So I'm putting my knee towards her knee, and a tiny bit sideways. So essentially what happens is that I'm going here, lean up, and a small side move, a very small side move. It happens all at the same time. One, cross. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Now at this point, I can pull her leg from there. I can pull her leg from this position, do a lapis on the other side, and put her into the cross. And from here, I will rotate to lead her into the forward position. Now, I want you guys to think about like, where it all comes from. So from this moment, potentially, when the lady does the sandwich, she can do the baguette, so she can drag my foot. So what I can do here is as she pushes my leg, I can catch it and change her direction. So that will be one way for you guys to think about this, to think about how that, um, how that resistance gets created. Okay? Step, catch, transition, rotate, and rotate. So, another important part okay, is not to allow yourself, gentlemen, to lead her into the cross too far in. If you lead her too far, she's going to have a very hard time changing the weight. Okay? And that applies, the same concept applies on this side. If I push her too far and her heel is up in the air, she, she's going to have a very hard time changing her weight. So you want to try to put the kusada halfway through. So halfway, just a bit. Halfway, just a bit. To make it easier. Okay? Now we also talked about the wrap. Very briefly, just to show you to the top point. Okay. Here, you move it in. Oops. From here, I can create a Just an alternative thing. We'll talk about it next time. So, one more time. All together, both possibilities. Step. Cross. Catch. Cross. And out. Okay,